ACIM Insights Lesson 177 Review There is no death, the Son of God is free, and now we are one with Him who is our source. The ego would have me believe that the time that we would be one with our source is a long way off. The lesson today tells us that now we are one with God, who is our source. We are one now. I find it is helpful to think about that. We are all one with God now. God is where we came from and God is where we are now. Our real dwelling place is in heaven with God and we dwell in heaven now with God. I find it helpful to think about the fact that we all are in heaven now. We are all joined as one now. It is not off in the future, but now. Holy Spirit, I open my mind to you that I may remember that I am still one with my source. I am still in heaven along with everyone. There has never been any separation. I open my mind to you so that I may remember this when I feel frustrated or afraid. I open my mind to you so that your healing light will shine away all my false ideas of limitation and believe in a world of time and space. Help my willingness to recognize the eternal truth. The Son of God is still one in God. The life we all live in God is eternal happiness. Let me not try to make something else real. Help me lay down my foolish dreams of being separate from God and my brother. The Son of God is still one with God. All that God created is still love and nothing else. Holy Spirit, thank you for holding the light and helping my foolish dreams fall away. Thank you. God is eternal life. The belief in death is an attempt to limit God and therefore is a fantasy that could never be true. All the things I see in the world that seem to have the potential to harm me or change me in any way are symbols of belief in death. They represent the idea that it is possible to change God. If I remain one with an unchangeable eternal source, then it is impossible that I could be changed. I am as changeless as my source. As I allow myself to fully accept this fact, it brings me great comfort. In truth, I am invulnerable. There is nothing to fear. There is nothing to feel guilty about because I have not done the impossible. I have not changed, nor his son. My brother, who is the son of God along with me, shares the son's invulnerability, his changelessness. Therefore, I could no more harm my brother than I could be harmed. There is no death, the son of God is free. As I can fully accept this idea, I can forgive myself for what I thought I did but never happened. As I release myself, I release my brother, for I no longer feel a need to project my perceived guilt upon another. My perfect safety lies in my oneness with my source. Here there is no death. Here there is no limitation. I am free. I need not worry about what may come tomorrow, nor fear consequences of something I think happened in the past. I am perfectly safe now in my changeless eternal source. My source is my home and I am free.